welcome folks to another game hoarder let's play we'll be doing a new beginning from the makers of Edna and Harvey and the whispered world should be a fun treat I had this imported from the UK you keeping an eye on the watch private 300 seconds, and not a second to spare. And don't forget, never look directly into the sun. It's a good bit of advice. Ready. 280 seconds left. Looks like my measuring equipment is broken. No, I'm afraid... I'm afraid it's working perfectly fine. 240 seconds left. We just received news from Antarctica, Machu Picchu, and Eastern Oceania. Their measurements match ours. We're expecting a solar flare similar to the Oswald flare from 2113 within the next two weeks. We all know that the terrestrial magnetic field can't protect us from a flare of the scale anymore. Our time is up. It's not too late yet, Quaddy. We still have a chance. Well, yeah, what about the Phoenix plan? We could escape. The Phoenix plan is not an evacuation plan, Hardy. Quite the opposite. No. Salvador is right. A manipulation is our last chance. What are they talking about? Is the security of our pilots provided for by now? Nigel, we are looking at certain death for every living thing in two weeks. We don't have a choice, I'm afraid. It's time we dare to take the final step. Step back to the past. Prologue. Of spare parts. <sighs> it never ends, does it? Okay then, let's see what's wrong with this thing. over the red machine's lid and hold down the left mouse button. Wait until the token clicks into place, then move the mouse to the upper right and over. Open before you release the mouse button. So this is a tutorial. You can look at it and activate. My fogger. Sounds like something is wrong with the motor. You 
can also inspect items that way. Why don't you inspect the motor by selecting Look At Now? Aha! Uh -huh. So that's the problem. The belt tour. But where can I get a new one? Maybe it can still be fixed. The belt is now in your inventory. Click the right mouse button to open or close your inventory. Try to knot the belt in your inventory now. Oh well. It's worth a try. Not sure that will hold. That's it. The belt tore again. There's no help for it. I need to replace it. Now you must find a way to repair the fogger properly. But you can't do it here, and you have to do it without my help. Move the mouse pointer over to the stairs to your right and start your adventure with a left click. Pretty cool cartoony comic style graphics. This trap? Well, it's locked. The plan was to leave everything behind. That day, I was so drunk, I don't even remember where I hid the key. That's not good. I told Dr. Angus that I find fishing abhorrent, so she suggested the fish trap. Now, holding down the spacebar shows you all the possibilities that you can interface with. Our summer vacation to Italy. Meta beamed, like always. And all I had on my mind was probably how to save the world. I wonder if we could have been happy if I had focused on our relationship instead of on our planet's future. <sighs> Yeah, you should have definitely been focusing on that. I'm so sorry, Meta. I sacrificed both of us in the end for a vision no one even cared about. So our character's name is Bent. Even during our trip to Italy, I was only thinking about my algae research. I can see it in my eyes. My team on the Atlas 11. <laughs> We really thought the future of the world was resting on our shoulders. That looks suspiciously like... Well, well, look what I've found. I don't even remember hiding it here. Was I really that drunk? Probably. You were pulling a game order. Speaking of... All right, now we have the key. Let's use it on the door here. It should fit. How long haven't I been down here? Holy moly, it's dark. Okay, let's take a look. There 
was even more lab equipment in here once. Barney took most of it back to the station so I wouldn't get any ideas and start working again. Hey, there was a screwdriver in there. I better take it. You never know when you'll need a trusty screwdriver. Bicycle. Bicycle tube. Not without proper tools. Let's see. Uh oh. Hello? Crap. Yes. Ben Svensson? Yes, that would be me. Wait, I'm coming. Maybe you could tell me what you were doing sneaking around this place. You gave me quite a fright. I didn't intend to. Are you Ben Svensson? Yes, I am, but... What do you need? I need your help. You've come to the wrong place, then. I am retired. But it's very, very important. Much is on the line. Well, all right. But let me finish my work first. I hate to leave a job undone. Do I know you? I know your work. That is the reason why I need to talk to you. Nothing can be important enough not to get an appointment first. Is that your helicopter out there? It belongs to a friend, I think. Nice outfit. Are you military? No, I am from a different organization. Please, wait a second. I am busy right now. But... The sooner you let me finish my work, the sooner I will have time for you. Double-clicking, of course, auto-teleports you to the location. See if we can get this belt fixed. Good riddance. Cripes. Too long. Of course. It's useless. Away with it. It fits. Sweet. Now that's what I call nig rigged. Now. What now? Looks like one of the discs is blocked. Cool that would price. explain why the belt tore. The hell is this lady doing on my pier? I'm gonna push her off into the water. Teach that bitch a lesson. Please, wait a second. I am busy right now. But the sooner you let. It's completely rusted. Okay, that should work. A 
Let's try this again. Right. That should do the trick. Ah, damn it. Someone has to hold the shutter to keep the stupid screwdriver from popping out again. Maybe this unknown woman will help. I could use your help. Is that really important? I don't have much time. If you really want my help... Okay, okay, fine. What do you want me to do? Just come up here. There we are. What's this machine for? The fogger keeps the wood fresh until winter. I need you over here. You must push down this shutter while I operate the switch over there. Do you think you can do that? Of course. I'm ready. Well then. The hell happened to the sound? Are you mad? Turn off the machine right now. Oh well. These things happen. But there's no alternative. If you want to get rid of vermin, and I need the wood for heating. You are such an asshole! Oh great. Got a visit from Miss Hypersensitivity. Wait. Wait. Is that your generic answer to every problem? Huh? Oh, come on. What's with all this fuss? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you can't help me after all. Help? Help with what, for Christ's sake? I am retired. I don't help anyone anymore. Oh, please. Don't look so sad. Maybe it would be best... <coughs> what? <coughs> What's wrong with you? Water. I need... water. <laughs> all right, hang on, bitch. Don't die on me. What now? Svensson? Hello, Bent. This is Dr. Angus speaking. You sound a bit stressed out. It's a bad time. I have a visitor. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What did I tell you about stress? Please, Doc. The woman doesn't feel well. She has a seizure or... We've talked about this a thousand times, Bent. Your do-gooder complex even earned you a stay in the hospital. You are not responsible for the whole world. What? But... Please repeat. I am not responsible for the whole world. I am not responsible for the whole world. That's it. Now, get some rest. Why don't you go fishing? Because I don't want to be part of the overfishing of the seas? Uh, uh, uh. What did I tell you? I am not responsible for the whole world. Just remember that. I'll call you tomorrow. So long. Yes, so long. Okay, now, about you. Why don't you tell me what brings you here? What brings me here? Okay. Mutual trust. My name is Faye. I am a time travel pilot. Confrontation. I come from the future. 
Mankind is facing extinction. What's that? What are you talking about? And what is that note for? Guidelines for trans-temporal contacting. I told them I couldn't do this. <laughs> no. Are you serious? Salvador was right. Talk is useless. Oh, please. Give me a break. Fine. You are from the future. Or from the Muppet Show. But what's that got to do with me? What do you want from me? Your research. Nonsense. In my time, mankind is dying. Animals are dying. Trees. The whole world is dying. Your research could prevent that. I'm not responsible for the whole world. Oh, but you are, Bent. Actually, you are the only one who can help me. The only one who can stop the worst from happening. You, Bent. And you alone are responsible for the whole world. You can't know that, but in 500 years from today, the world is a wasteland. Wasteland. Everything is destroyed. The surface uninhabitable. The last survivors live in bunkers below ground and mankind teeters on the brink of extinction. Well, that's fascinating. Do you believe me? Yes. Yes, of course. That's the team. See? Who is that? That? Oh, that's Salvador. He was in Norway, too. I'm sure you'll meet him soon. And he comes from the future as well? Yes. Yes, of course. Where do you think the picture was taken? Uh, on a space station? On Mars? Don't be ridiculous. You'll understand soon. This man, the bald one, he looks important. That's Quadi, our commander. It's Mr. His Queen. task is to keep everyone in the colony alive. I think it was hard for him to send us on such a difficult mission. Nigel is my mentor. He took care of me after my parents died. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What happened to them? They were wind scouts. They miscalculated the vertical pressure of the toxosphere. The kites held, but the anchor tore. That... Um... Sorry to hear that. That's okay. You couldn't know. You don't look very happy. I'm nervous. After all, I'm supposed to save the world. Hmm. I guess everyone believes that at some point. Oh, that is Delvin. He is something like a prodigy. He fixed the new mater on his own, before anyone even knew that the thing was broken. Delvin gets along with everybody. He looks scared. We all were, each in our own way. Joseph spent a lot of time in the archives. That was where he learned everything there is to know about the world. That must have been quite a lot. Oh, well, not that much, really. But he must have read everything that was still legible at least a hundred times. Dina and Joseph were eager to go to Europia. After the mission, they wanted to see the art there. I don't know. So you are not into art? I just don't see how that can help us saving the world. Who is the woman in the red sweater? Sadi. She's my best friend. She went to South America. On a student exchange? No. We don't have things to exchange. All this materialism was what doomed the world in the first place. We don't need all that in the future. We just want to survive. All right. Never mind. It was a misunderstanding. Please calm down. This is Hardy. He was sent to the Zwiebelberg to talk to the rulers there. And where is that supposed to be? In Neverland? Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think that's where it is. All right, well, we learned about the crew. Pretty costumes. So why are you doing this? You still don't understand? In our time, the world is coming to an end. The catastrophe is too far advanced. We are time travel pilots. We were sent to the year 2050 to stop the climate change. Excuse me? We wanted to redress the mistakes of mankind, but we miscalculated. Chapter One, Laden Air.
Faye, are you still alive? Uh, I'm not sure. Doesn't feel like it. Stop joking. We are here. How do you know without... Uh... Take me to your leader. Ouch! Damn it. You okay? Don't touch the shell. Yeah. Thanks. I know that now. Say hello to the year 2050. Hello, 2050. It's hard to believe, isn't it? We really made it to the past. Wow! You can see the sky. And breathe in the air. <coughs> Yikes! The air tastes strange. Leaden. Somehow, the golden past looked different in my imagination. Less dirty. I hope the other teams didn't end up on a garbage dump as well. We should get started immediately. When have you become so dutiful, Faye? Did the time jump change you that much? But you are right. You should set up the time radio antenna wh while I look around. Um, Nigel? What now? What exactly is our mission? We search out the political leaders, take them to task, and convince them to take more care of the planet. That's the plan? Yes, that's the plan. Why? Sounds a little naive. It's a matter of survival for mankind, the future of our planet. Of course they will listen. Anything else? Nothing. See you later. I'll be right back. I don't believe a word of this. This madness. Please listen to me, Ben. Ridiculous. I was told to set up the time radio antenna to contact the other teams. Give her a chance. The box containing the time radio antenna. Now I only need to find a good spot to set it up. I don't believe it. The whole city is destroyed. Poor San Francisco. Can it be possible that we are so thoroughly mistaken? I hope the situation looks better for the other teams. Let's see. An open space with a smooth and solid surface near the time capsule. This is the perfect spot to set up the time radio antenna. Okay, let's go. Okay, every... If I remember correctly, there should be a way to fold out the antenna base. Kind of like that. Box. 
No, that doesn't fit. No. 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 <laughs> no. What are you talking about? No. No, that doesn't fit. No. Well, now I only have to determine the right sequence for the cubes. If I remember correctly, I just have to see to it that I install cubes that belong together on the same side of the antenna. Alright folks, that about wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for some more, a new beginning.